don't know. I don't know why people in America think any of it is okay, even with boys. With circumcision Thank at you. birth, it's, it's considered to be normal. Why is no. cutting the most sensitive bit off of anybody, even as a baby, normal? Who came up with that great idea? Yeah, it isn't. Yeah. And all men, all men who have been circumcised, like me, most Western men, um, we have all had our genitals mutilated. And people guffaw. There's all kinds of jokes. Uh, you can say this to a rabbi, and he'll say, oh, well, you got a 40% better chance of winning a Nobel Prize. <laughs> That's not a big – and these kind of jokes about it where – in the end, what upsets me as a scientist <laughs> is um, I have never urinated, I have never masturbated, I have never had sex and felt what it was like to participate in these things the way the, way the hundred and, hundreds of thousands of years of evolution had wanted me to feel these things. That was robbed from me as a child. I'll, I'll never know what an orgasm feels like for a natural human. And, and we, we joke about it too much. Like, when we talk about a woman having her sensitivity taken from her in, with these procedures, it's a horrible thought. But to deaden the sensation for a man is stuff to make jokes about. When I'm, That sucks for me. And all of us that have had this done to us as children, we will never know. I mean, I, I like the sex with my woman. I think it feels great. But I don't know what it's supposed to feel like, actually. Wow. So you're telling me that I, from now on, i got to think my dick is broke. Your dick is yeah. broke. You, 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 you Travis, literally Travis. don't know what you're missing. You literally uh, will yeah. never know what you're missing. Wow. And, and that's, that's, uh, that's a level of freedom to remove from a human. Um, that's a monster to me. And okay. so, yeah, you're right, Travis. You, Travis, you've never busted a nut as... A natural human being. Damn. You've only experienced your life through your penis as an altered, mutilated person. So here's yeah. the thing. I have had two children, right? And through my pregnancies, when I would go through the prenatal care, we'd go through the birth plan and the procedure, you know, the baby's going to have this immunization and this test and blah, 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 and if it's a boy, circumcision, whatever, whatever. And I said, yeah. if you, if I have a boy... And you circumcise, if you cut my boy, I will cut you. And that's the way <laughs> it's going to be. And, and the doctors were saying, well, it's really, you know, it's more sanitary this way, and, you know, it keeps it clean. And I was like, what's so, wrong with soap? What soap keeps it clean, too, doesn't it? What I would, say, I what I would say is... Yeah. We're not living in a desert. <laughs> so what I would say to a doctor is like, um, well, then... What's next? I mean, isn't that amazing that medical science has found in the male and the female, which has, like I said, we've evolved for hundreds of thousands of years, and in the last few thousand years, because of religion, we found a piece on the body that was never supposed to be there, Mother Nature, you goofball. You, <laughs> you, you, I mean, because to me, the arguments for not needing a foreskin are the same arguments that I could give you for not needing the eyelid. You know, I think if we're going there, it would be it would make a lot more sense to cut the nipples off, man. You're not using those, are you? Woo! Yeah, exactly. Why, Why not? not? Why nipples? <laughs> we'll have to go to the Jews. Jews, could you rewrite the book and say that um, God wanted I Abraham to cut off Isaac's nipples? <laughs> and... He almost did it, but he stopped, and then he, bur he, he killed the ram that, that God gave him that sent him in, in the bush. And then we could just switch it all to nipples, and at least, yeah, I would give up not knowing what it truly felt like to have my nipple sucked on to trade for a natural BJ. <laughs> 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 the extra skin um, that the foreskin is, which covers the tip of the penis when it's flaccid, um, keeps it, you know, covered up, uh, moist, you know, um, and ready for usage when, when you need it. Um, kind of like when your eyes are closed, they're keeping your eyes <laughs> covered from debris and moist for when ready to open them and use them, right? So um, somehow uh, this, uh, I don't know where I was going with this, but this piece of skin, I think, um, to deaden the man, it not only does leave the tip exposed always to 
not only con in the air, but to rub against our pants, to scrape against the zipper. Um, that was supposed to be protected from that. That's the foreskin's job, was to not let us, that, any of that stuff impact your precious part. So not only do we get denied the security and safety of the piece of skin, but now removing it means that we don't have that extra looseness so that when um, a man with a foreskin, they say, has sex, and especially the first few times or if a girl isn't all the way lubricated herself yet or you're first starting out, the man is mostly sliding inside his own skin because of all of the extra skin the foreskin provides so that the friction is being taken up mostly inside the foreskin until everything gets going. Then the, the whole penis moves, uh, uh, you know, once full erection, the whole penis is moving in and out, everything's fine. But initially, if a woman isn't all the way ready and a guy without a foreskin tries to put it in, now there's no extra skin. It's a dry shove. <laughs> and, and that is right there where Mother Nature was saying, see, I was trying to help you all with the dry shove. By, by giving you this, it's one of the reasons for it, in addition to many reasons for it. And so <laughs> it's, it's even more abusive sex. To have sex without a foreskin is more abusive. It's more frictionful and therefore less, can be less pleasurable and more damaging to the inside of the woman. That, that there's like so many levels to this. <laughs> You know, could I just address the unaltered men for a minute? Um, one time during my, my, my distant past, um, I had the pleasure of encountering a man who was unaltered. The pleasure. <laughs> yes, I had the pleasure. I was, let me I had the pleasure you, a, I was a lucky girl. <laughs> but what I thought was... I, I thought the pleasure part was great, but what I thought was sad was he was very insecure about it. He was he was embarrassed. He he didn't know how that would be received. And um, and why wouldn't he? Be, why wouldn't he be? Because he's the minority in in that regard now. And I would just like to give a shout out to all the men that are unaltered. Uh, it's okay. We like it. <laughs> Don't be ashamed. Well, the um no, it's it's true because um. That, and, and that was going through some other topics. We're talking about feminism. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, Let's, wait so, was it better uh, in the past? I hear a lot, Jennifer. Jennifer, do you the, the assessment? Now, I've just read. I've just read this stuff. You know, it's kind of science of the penis. But would you say your practical experience with this guy? Do you feel like that's true about how it slides and how the extra skin does something? Yes, that is absolutely true. Um, I didn't. I didn't know anything about it. I, you know, I was starting to handle the penis like I would uh, a circumcised penis, and he let me know in a hurry that was too rough because it's very sensitive. Woo! Isn't that trouble? You ain't jealous? I'm very jealous. You know what? You're jealous. You know what? That that, that that makes sense. Because my shit, it's like leather. You could step on it. <laughs> <laughs> about it. The BJ does not take any time at all. <laughs> it's over in a hurry. That, that's what I'm saying. It's mean to the women. For the women, a circumcised penis is, is much more painful in everything it does. It lasts too, too long. That's why a lot of guys are circumcised. And, and, I, and I know people um, even in the adult industry, guys that say many guys, a majority cannot orgasm from a blowjob. Which would seem like a fairly simple thing to do, but they said no. This, the sensitivity is just not there. It, it's wow. difficult, and I think most guys would say they've had a good time with certain BJ's, but for the most part, it's rare. It's rare to go all the way with just a woman's mouth because circumcised men don't have the sensitivity, and so it's a see how see how mean it is to women to not be circumcised. See, see, women joke about it, but they would have quicker sex. Easier, less, less rubby sex, and uh, they could make the guy come much simpler without having to 
get all the laundry cleaned and all that shit, right? You could just say, hey, come here, honey. Stroke, stroke, done. <laughs> right. Think about that. Okay. That way, every every man would be able to leave the house with empty balls. The world would be a better place. And she'll be able, and you'll be able to get that guy to empty balls. Simp- Travis, are you an easy, if some girl, if, if, if Sarah, or, I mean, we can edit the name. <laughs> but are you... You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I understand what you're saying. What just okay? Look, yes. Uh, you know what? If you're a guy who is circumcised and you jack off on a regular, it's going to be way harder for you to come. Now, if you I'm, yeah, which means the sex for the woman is going to be all long suffering and poundy and going dry and unpleasant. All of it comes from not having the foreskin. And the fact that we think that Mother Nature fucked up. With this thing, do you know that she has known what this she, what we've needed this piece for forever? That's why it's there. Like, believe me, if when doctors, when modern doctors are saying it's cleaner and it's better, I'm like, well, then, doc, how did we get here through malaria, through the Black Plague, from the savannas of Africa, traveling? How did human beings make it here with this thing that has been fucking us up? It obviously is the opposite. We're here. We have to understand that we're here. One hundred percent of the reason is everything on our bodies has been necessary, and so for Western medicine to say no, 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 Tana, except this piece, that's that's mind-boggling. That we have one thing that we don't need that's hanging outside our body that we should cut off at birth. That, that, that's unbelievable logic to me to think that well, it can get dirty and and some little boy might not know how to clean it out. And it could get infected or, or whatever. I go, let's let that happen. Let's let that happen. Let's see what kind of dirty adults are around our young men and don't teach them that. Let's see what nasty schools and churches don't, don't let boys know how to clean themselves, right? Like, let's let that, let's try at least. It's, I mean, to go to cut it off, it, that, that's not the first thing to do. Yeah, like, you, you know, give me some Q-tips and a little alcohol and let me practice. <laughs> Say worst case scenario, you get an infection. Wouldn't you rather just take the antibiotics and deal with the infection? Yeah, the military, all the dicks are cut in the military, and the VD is rampant. So where is science really sitting? What where's the evidence they're sitting on? You know, you should not be taking I, uh, advice from that book on what to do with your genitals or any one book. It's in the Bible, and it starts from Judaism, and the modern doctors just. You know, I guess Judaism is so connected to medicine and learning and, you know, and there's a lot of Jewish doctors and dentists and blah, 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 that maybe it's just like, fuck it, why fight it? Why, why make a, a fuss if you're a doctor, right? Why, why stir the pot? Just, just snip all the boys and just not, bother, not, not really have any sense with it. You know, to say someday, if, if you're going to snip off my, the end of my penis because you think, I might not be able to clean it properly. Well, then, uh, does what about cavities and teeth? And then we need to pull the teeth out of children because they're probably going to rot. You know, chances are kids will eat sugar and get a cavity. Actually, that's high. It's so high, I think it warrants pulling all the teeth out because some will be rotten in some kids. It, it's such a monster leap of idiotic medicine that it's funny that American enlightened intellectuals all kind of go along with it.